dog. Dog vlog. Dog vlog. And it's Julian also. Julian. It's just a dog. This is Julian's dog. Dang. Cute dog. There is nothing cuter on this planet than this animal right here. Look at this. Oh, how many people can guess the brand? Oh, oh that's supposed to say brand. <laughs> <laughs> what brand is this dog? The breed of the dog. All right. We'll get mixed up with another breed. Ah, what y'all think? Comment right now, and if you get it right, then what do they win? Send you a we'll fly someone out to Julian's apartment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't be here, but. <laughs> I won't be here, and I won't meet up with you, but. So we were filming today at ASU and shit, for shits and giggles. I wrote down a few talking points for our vlog. Do you like FaceTime? I mean, more than text. I feel like people think calling is just weird now. Seems that people don't like the spontaneous FaceTime or the answering and stuff. What the heck? I actually did an interview asking girls and guys what they prefer, like FaceTime or text. A lot of girls were like, if he FaceTime me, that's weird. Like, I need to get a heads up. <laughs> what? This was the 1980s, bro. Somebody would just call you, and you couldn't even tell who it is. Like, you have to answer. Like, a pet peeve of mine is when people say, I'm a bad texter, or like if someone is being a poor texter to me, I take it personally. And my reasoning behind that is, if someone is a bad texter, and they had Drake's number, and Drake texted them, they're responding fast. So if people aren't bad texters, they just don't like you that much. Girls prioritize mostly. There's no excuse for that, I don't think. And that parlays into the other thing I found, a little post that my friend shared. Them little infographics on Instagram that people post on their stories to make it seem like they're like a hero or something. People think they got a master's degree in maturity when they post an infographic. Save the fucking animals, bro. Okay. <laughs> Things people with anxiety may do that can come across as rude. But let me teach you, Julian. First thing, cancel plans. They tend to either have an excuse, agree to the plan, and cancel last minute, or just not show up. It is most likely that they have experienced severe anxiety that causes them to cancel plans that they were initially interested in. Yo, 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 yo. It's like, how do you talk about anxiety without sounding like insensitive? Like, in all fairness, this generation is the most anxious. They have anxiety, they have, okay, I get it. Me too, I suffer from that too. There's a point where people use it unnecessarily and it does get too far. I just feel like nowadays there's a word for everything. Now. Back in the old days, there was no such thing as anxiety. It was so now they're just up. Yeah, it was <laughs> tough it up. So now it's just like, oh, I, got, oh, I can't do this. I'm like, bro, just grow up here. There's been a big focus on mental health and anxiety and stuff so much to the point that I think it's been maybe overcompensated where everyone thinks I must have anxiety too. Well, I must have something wrong with me too. Everyone goes through, everyone does. Everyone goes through anxiety and goes through depressive feelings and stuff, but canceling plans? Bro, you just bailed on me. I have anxiety. Huh? I don't agree to the plan. These are according to infographics, so these have to be true. Yeah, these have to be facts, yeah. Not responding to calls or texts. Their anxiety holds them back from responding to text messages or returning phone calls. They engage in such, they will experience the dreadful symptoms of anxiety, which would much rather be avoided. So let me get this straight. Someone calling a girl or whatever and she's on her phone <laughs> I, just, I don't get it. It's important to be realistic about things. Right. I have ignored text messages and I've ignored calls before in my life. I don't do it a lot. Rarely I've done it, but I have. It's rude. Don't do that. It doesn't have anything to do with anxiety. You ignoring people's <laughs> What? Let's say you're having an anxious day and Drake calls you. Are you going to answer Drake? Oh, of course. It doesn't matter what's going on. Like, stopping everything. Champagne pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> Late night when you need. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Canceling plans on people and ignoring people is rude. And if you want to ignore someone, it's well within your right to do it. But saying, "Well, I'm anxious." <laughs> These other ones seem a bit more realistic. Distancing from others. People with anxiety sometimes distance themselves from people because, okay, well, that's okay. That's not crazy. Hey, ding. Talking too much or interrupting. Occasionally, someone may get so anxious when they're out with friends and there's an awkward silence no one is talking, so they feel the need to talk more. Huh? Let me get this right. You're, you're at dinner with your friends. You got anxiety, right? And your friends are just talking. You're just like, I like having sex with females. Bruh. I have anxiety. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't get that. I, I don't. Asking you to repeat things. Sometimes people with anxiety may have their mind in a different place and can be overwhelmed with thoughts, otherwise known as brain fogs. I think they're kind of like stretching the word anxiety. I think exactly. we need to go to like a new word. Like, they're just explaining all basic traits of like, you know, humans. different humans. Yeah, so, uh, come on. This is a hot take, but 
And I'm saying it because I, I, I try to help people. Everybody experiences anxiety and experiences all types of problems, the sadness, the heartbreak, being distant from others. I guess it's not an excuse to be a bad person necessarily. <laughs> it gets mad deep for no reason. <laughs> I, I can't solve everyone's problems um, or, or no. Here's how to fix everything, but people need to respond to text. No excuse not to respond to text. If you don't want to talk to somebody, just tell them, hey, I think this generation needs to just grow some balls. Be like, yo, I don't want to talk to you. Wouldn't you respect that? Nobody does that. Say you don't fuck with me. I would much rather that than the and then no, you don't answer. You're just, huh? If we meet in person and I'm like, hey, Julian, what's up? You would respond to me. You wouldn't just stare at me and I, if I say, hey, Julian, how's your day going? So why is it acceptable over the phone? This is what I'm telling you guys. Advice with Rhino tonight. If somebody is not responding to you type shit, that's the message there. It's like they do not respect you. No, I think it's just anxiety. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not responding. I'm anxious. <laughs> Don't call me. There's people out there with no <clears throat> friends and no one calls them. I bet you they feel pretty crappy and anxious, but my anxiety is still, I can't even answer y'all's phone call. The concept of oversharing. What are your thoughts on oversharing on social media? Do you feel like you share a lot? Definitely not anymore. I barely post now. I'm too busy, like, actually trying to live my life. Mm. Instead of showing everybody, look what I'm doing. I got this. I got that. Yeah, look at this new car. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of posting everything. There are the few people that do that have to show, look what I'm doing every second. Posting all the time. Is, that is a bit damaging in a way. Why are you showing so much? Don't you have a life beyond this? That's a statement about social media in general. Everybody just lives on their phone. This is the new reality. This is what everyone is seeing things through. Not the real world. Go out there and live more. What if iPhone like gave everybody like a limit on your screen time? <laughs> oh, that would be outrageous. <laughs> like imagine Ooh, like people had to actually like be like, yo, I gotta manage my time today like, on my phone. Like, instead of being on my phone in the morning, I'll do it on the night. Like, but we have no type of like discipline. We're slaves. We're slaves to our phone. And I still am. Would you say you are? My screen time is bad. Let's look at the screen time. <laughs> We're gonna overshare for the vlog. <laughs> Can I go first? Nine hours, 56 minutes. Mine's is more. 10 hours and 34 minutes. Okay. Hold on, wait. Is this just on my cell phone or is this on my, uh, it's all devices. Wait a minute. iPhone, it's eight hours and 15 minutes, which is still terrible. Crazy though, eight hours of a day. That's a third of my day. Today, Today. seven hours, 18 minutes. And I was doing stuff all day today. Those little time you look at it, open it adds up. Most used YouTube over the past week, 17 hours on YouTube. Instagram, 13 hours. Messages, nine hours. Damn, who you text? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about nobody text me back. You're texting somebody. I'll be complaining no one texts me back. Nobody text me back. Nine hours. <laughs> Bro, for some reason, I have 11 hours, 27 minutes of maps. <laughs> I got eight hours in math. And I only spent one hour on Apple Music. I thought like I'd be on that bitch. TikTok, two hours. What? Oh, I deleted TikTok. There's no telling what that was. That was probably bad. Because that's just a non-ending. <sighs> what do you think? The appropriate amount of screen time a day should be. Fuck. We do social media for a living. And so I was on my phone today doing audio recording. I mean, truthfully, the less the better. Obviously, you want to be getting back to people like when they're texting you. And people could be texting you all day. Maybe there is no ideal time. Because you don't know what your job is. But the facts are, bro, staring down at your phone all day is not good. Any at all, period. It messes with your eyes and your neck muscles and your brain. So like, bro, just don't even be on it. I agree. As I'm on it every day. I don't practice what I preach. I just say what sounds good to the vlog. <laughs> as soon as the camera's off, you're just like, <laughs> guys, get off your phones. Get off your phone. All right, cut. Cut. Fucking idiot. <laughs> this bitch not texting me back. Fucking. <laughs> I could never claim to be a perfect person, but um, we are really just trying to navigate our life and whatnot. Some people, like the kids that we were around us during the crate challenge, they came up to us. Hey man, you know, how do I get like you? What kept you motivated for YouTube? Asking like deep questions while there's kids running around crates and shit. Hey, so that's it. Kids were looking to us for advice on things. And I was thinking to myself, like, as much as I'd like to think, oh, I'm a decent role model, kind of. I feel like I have good insight on things, but we're still trying to figure we're shit out. We're still going through the ups and the downs. We're going through ups and downs. Just because you see somebody, like, making a lot of money or having a lot of subscribers does not mean, like, they have all the answers. Still trying to figure out who we are. I don't know who I am or what the fuck I got going on, but I'm trying. This is really just us documenting our lives and perspectives on things. All in all, Julian's going to give his best world advice for all of you right now I would say I don't want to sound cliche do things that make you happy don't be selfish but just literally like listen to the voice from you don't be scared to like make people look like me ah, I'm no, I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I don't know. Again, it sounding cliche. Do what makes you happy. Be you. But like, literally, almost nobody 
does what they truly want to do. Most of their life is all based upon, ah, I'm not gonna do that because they're gonna think that I'm this. I can't do that. She's gonna think I'm stupid. They're gonna laugh at me. They're gonna, bro. Everyone is going to turn into smithereens and dust at, at some point. Awesome. Don't live life to please others. If I went tomorrow on ASU butt naked, I'm sure that's illegal, but and walked around crazy naked, everyone would look at me and laugh and be like, what the fuck, whatever. Eventually in time, like everyone there would forget that. Everyone else would focus and move on and do things with their own life and not remember the crazy mixed guy that was butt naked. That's a weird example to basically mean everyone is too focused about themselves to be worried about you. If say you do something stupid, kid will laugh amongst themselves for a little bit of time and then go back to focusing on themselves. Nobody really cares what you're doing, so just do whatever the hell you want. Fuck. Facts. Imagine that. Imagine you're dead or whatever. I don't really know. <laughs> like, just think. Just, just think that you're just, whatever. All right. I don't know what y'all religious beliefs are, but imagine you're up there with the creator and you're just looking down at what you did in life and you're literally seeing everything in that you lived your life trying to make other people happy and trying to make other people not upset and trying to prove your parents and you know just imagine that how upset would you be if you literally just looked down on every moment of your life and just saw like wow i never actually found out what i wanted to do that's heavy shit they yeah. might like a movie sometimes. <laughs> all the what ifs damn what if i would have tried to pursue that what would have happened guess i'll never know because i was too scared of what kevin thought yeah what the fuck yeah fuck that i'm not doing that we're balling out live your life Ain't that right, Kobe? And before I go, I'm gonna just grab something from Julian's candy store. Which, which one's your go-to? Mmm, this is tough. Honestly, these are fire. Oh yeah, the airheads. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Hershey, you know I gotta go with that. Fuck with the chocolate, man. Which one are you taking? Shit, I just had the Skittles. I'm feeling low. <laughs> oh shit, flaming hot. Take this one, 